Top U.S. officials are worried that Israel may respond hastily to drone and missile attacks that were launched by Iran over the weekend. The move provoked a wider regional conflict that many are concerned that the U.S. could get dragged into. NBC's Bree Jackson has the latest from Washington. President Biden condemning Iran's wave of strikes toward Israel and praising the U.S. airmen who shot down Iranian drones and missiles. Hey, you guys are the best in the whole damn world, man. The president met with G7 leaders Sunday and urged restraint as Israel considers its response. We will take whatever it takes to protect and defend our people. The 9,602nd meeting of the Security Council is called to order. During an emergency United Nations Security Council meeting, the UN Secretary General called for a de-escalation of tensions. Now is the time to defuse and de-escalate. Now is the time for maximum restraint. There are growing concerns that Iran's attack over the weekend could trigger a wider war in the Middle East. This isn't, is an escalating conflict. And there are renewed calls from lawmakers and the Biden administration for Congress to pass a bipartisan aid package that stalled in the House. The fact that the United States and Israel were cooperating, and this was in planning for weeks, shows that our commitment to Israel's security is ironclad. Get it on the floor, let's get it voted on, so that not only Israel can get additional resources to defend itself, which they clearly need, but that Ukraine can as well. A vote on a national security spending package is expected this week. On Sunday, House Speaker Mike Johnson said details of a package are still being hammered out, but he will push for more funding for Israel. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.